Okay, so Salcha in Hanover, can you hear us? Can you hear me too? Yeah, great. Okay, can you hear me too? Great. Okay, I would just give you a short engine in our case. I'm now a bone bridge inside. I have a 64 years old man. Um, he has recurrent otitis media, otitis media on both sides, multiple ear operations before. Um, he was wearing hearing aids, but not with a very good satisfaction satisfaction and then we tried a stimulation with the bar headband and then he was very um, happy uh, finally he decided to go for a bone bridge decided to go for a bone and we can show his to focus right, here roll. camera focus the camera yeah. just a little bit a little bit That's okay. 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 So uh, the ear on both sides quite good, but a very big um, loss in in um, in in, uh, in bon uh, very big loss in air conduction, airborne gap, very big loss in air airborne gap. CT scan um, on the one, th one side we have MR MRI scan because afterwards yeah, we, it's, it's we not can't see easy to scan because after we can't see easy to have to explain it. Okay. The reticular cavity or something? No. No. Um, uh, we've performed the MRI scan before we performed the MRI scan to see that there's no acousticus neuronoma. Acousticus neuronoma. On the other side, we just the bone, just to see that there's a quite good bone quality. Because what you should always keep in mind if you're a good bone, because what you're going for a bone bridge, um, you need, quite, you need quite a good quality, and you have to drill uh, quite a big hole. So I think we can now switch to big hole. I think we can now switch to. The so I just show you the implant. Implant. This is the bone bridge. Um, the very important thing about the bone bridge arms cannot be bent. Here is uh, uh, here's the transition and the demolition. Um, this one can be bent up to 90 degrees in this uh, direction and 30 degrees in that direction. And the whole forces or the whole power is just transferred through the two arms over here. So, and you have to um, drill quite a hole into the bone just to bring in. The just to bring in this th system. It's just about 9 millimeters in this direction, 16 millimeters over here. Okay. And millimeters over here. Okay. And now, um, so you can see this is the pin of the patient over here. Was just in straight incision the ear. And then um, I already drilled a hole. Section hole section and um, on the bottom of my hole the, the bottom of my hole that's already soft everywhere over here here kind of dummy now it's like the BC FMT you can just place into the hole FMT you can just place into the okay I got good bone under my arms so now I can drill I got good arms the implant Just, uh, it's not working. Der Bohrer funktioniert nicht. Der Bohrer funktioniert nicht. Der steht immer auf Rücken. Und ich bin immer noch auf Rücken gestellt. Immer bitte auf andersrum drohen. Andersrum drohen. Ich bohre rückwärts. Kann man das mal auf vorne stellen? Rückwärts kann man das mal vor. Der Fußschalter funktioniert nicht. Der Fußschalter funktioniert nicht. 
Excuse me, where do you uh, choose your actual uh, choose drilling holes? Is there a special yeah, that's, area that's a, where? That's, yeah, that's a special yeah, that's, area. That's a, that's a very good question. Always um, you should um, think of four quite good. So we usually try to avoid the master hit, especially in cases like that where you so we to avoid the like that where in this uh, temporal uh, linear temporalis over here. So I temporal uh, temporal here, or another good position would be down here. Position would be um, then you can over there down here. Uh, you can also put it into the mastoid, but put it into the mastoid. But we cases like that where you have a chronic ear. According to the um, CT scans, it looks like there was a radical, radical cavity or so, or was it yeah, just yeah. Drill, yeah. drilled uh, out? You're right, yeah. Therefore, we don't want to place the implant into the mastoid, because then it would be free to the ear canal. Yeah, for infection reasons, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm the dummy again. If just to... If just to change our drill, a short moment. Yes, now now it's working. So. Okay. Now the okay. Now the um Kann ich einmal kurz ein Respiratorium haben? Oh. So, oh, that's and a good demonstration. Uh, three times, says mm -hmm. in different directions. Directions. Well, it's nice to see. Is that a screwdriver with a torque? I, will, uh, I first place the screw out the torque uh, limiter, and then um, when I've placed both screws, I will f uh, limiter. Um, when I've placed the screw uh, with the torque limiter. Okay. Open up. Open up. Can you switch off the other mic? Can you switch off the... Are you still there? Are you still there? So. Is there something wrong with the sound? Uh, 
So, is there something wrong? Hmm. Okay. And now up to 20. And now up to over here, yeah. So that's enough for enough. Yeah. So. Şu açık, şu kapalı. Şu açık. So now, okay, and we will now perform um, LDV. Okay, and we, um, LD to see that the implant is working. Well, they have to switch to another. Mic. Yeah. Okay, that's all. Do you have any further questions? No further questions. It's very simple. No further questions. It's very surgery. We were wondering why the the hole for the the implant was so big. So the hole for the was so um, often. I sometimes, yeah, I um, I sometimes start drilling in an area. Oh, just to see. Yeah, I um, I start drilling. <laughs> And, tough, and then I go forward to uh, uh, another direction until I can see. I go forward to another direction. See, so it's only important that you look that the bone is just below your arms. Uh, it's only important the bone is just below. Yes, but if you make the 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 hole a little bit too large, then you have problems putting. If you make the the a little bit too long, the screws. You see that um, your your um, bone is good under your your arms of your um, your your is good under arm and so you have to draw in that direction like that. In this yes. direction it's it's very close. In that direction I have more space, so I could like that. It's it's very close. Space. So the bone is I want to place it. Okay, thank you for because your answer. Because the Dura the Dura was over here coming up a little bit higher. Therefore, uh -huh. I decided just to go a little bit more uh, in, the, in the direction place it. Okay, thank you for We're here, coming up a little bit more. You see, and I, I, sh I stay close to the implant on these on this sides and have space over here. And you are going to close that with bone pate or you just leave it? Uh, I stay close to the implant on this side. Rolf, can you hear us? Yeah, you can hear us. We can hear you very well. We just uh, changed the microscope and then we will perform some measurements. Perhaps over here. So we just build up a new microscope with a LDV measurement. LDV measurement. Also okay, dann nehmen wir einfach den Monitor direkt ab, ne? Okay, okay. Super. Okay, Rolf, so we can see your graphs there. Rolf, so we can see your graphs. Yeah.
That's better. That's in good, reasonably good focus now. Good focus now. Measurement, measuring on the implant, onto the implant. Good response. Yeah, so we see the implant is working. Now on the, onto the screw. I'm now onto the screw, but please don't shake the head. Okay, you can. Okay, to the bone. So okay, answer no. Yeah. So we have a good answer. Yeah. So we have a good answer. Direct of the taking of the bone. Of the bone. Okay. So we are done. Then we will close up. And when will this patient? You wait a few days or straight away? Uh, usually we wait a few days for uh, wound healing, and um, so in in wound healing uh, in in um, two weeks we turn it on. So they go home tomorrow. So they go home tomorrow. Yeah, he will. He will uh, go home to patient and uh, come back and uh, in, in, t in yeah, just about ten days to take out the stitches. Yeah, just about out the stitches. And okay. Well, thanks, Rolf. That was a nice demonstration.